Welcome to the FSM Prep Rally. I'm Joe Rigo. With me's Big Ant. Yeah, I made it here, man. Uh, we just seen a hell of a game. It, One hell of a game. It lived up to all the expectation, an instant classic. I don't know why ESPN. Hey, can I say ESPN on you? You can on, say whatever on, you want to say. I mean, you, you know, can say whatever no, this you want to say. This is your platform, though. You know? It's ours, man. All right, it's ours. Right, all right. About? So I don't know why ESPN didn't show up. They missed out on one tonight. This is one hell of a game, man. Hell of a game. 24 21. Mr. Gorman loses to modern day in a final, really final two minutes of the game. Hey, you know what? If we was thinking, we could have did this shit ourselves. Oh, oh. Hey, sorry. No, we could have did this ourselves and streamed it. We should have, man. That would have been us. Hey, we'll be, up a, we'll be up a cool meal tomorrow. Yeah, Why don't you think of that? Come on, Trish. Come on, TQ. <laughs> we we, we, we got a whole team. We could have did this ourselves. Hey, man, let's talk about the game, though. You know, the first half, you've seen Gorman jump out to a 14-0 yeah. lead. Yeah. Elijah Lofton, who will be joining us in just a few minutes, just got off in the first quarter. And what I kept telling you, uh, Joe, it ain't over yet. Like, Yo, the shut whole time up. On the side I line. said, calm down. This is a great team. Yep. They're not going away. They literally stuck to their game plan. They made some adjustments. And it was enough to get the victory tonight. And they came back running the ball, man. The offensive line was strong. Uh, shout out to Modern Day. Hell of a team. Uh, hey, Elijah Brown's going to get punched in the mouth for the rest of his career. Yeah. The kid, uh, when, he gets, when he gets some pressure, he ain't the same. But well, he lived up to it and he did enough to win. Well, what he did do, you know, he made the plays when he needed to make the plays. Yes. And then on top of that, you know, I want to give Modern Day credit. They did a good job coming off the edges to pressure yes. Michael Alejado. And then bringing uh, the other guy up the middle. Yes, bring the other guy. And then running the ball. They did a lot of running the ball up the middle. Mm -hmm. they, they really gashing Gorman. After, they adjusted after the first quarter to more of a quick game, a yeah. lot of slants. Um, you know, and it was one of those games where you kind of seen, you know, the whole the, the momentum sway a little bit throughout the game. Mm-hmm. But it, it still seemed like Gorman had a firm grasp going into the fourth quarter, even though it was tied. And that fourth quarter was just two, yeah. two just heavyweights throwing haymakers with each, at each other. And it just happened that, that modern day was a little more battle tested, I think, than Gorman tonight. And shout out my man, Lil Micah, quarterback for Gorman. You know, everybody kept telling me all year and everything, he's too little. We're no. going to destroy y'all. He can't, he can't hang in the pocket. My no. man, he, he got punched in the mouth over and over and over, and he kept getting back up. I told TQ the toughest people I ever known was short, so That's you right. can't you can't stop a short person. That's I, right, 100. Yeah. percent Toughest people I know is short. Say it with your yeah. chest. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm just I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> and I knew my man that, that TQ wanted him to get out the game. I said he ain't getting out the game. Nah, he, he's a he left one play and he got right back in. But yeah, heck of a game for those guys, man. This, this was a classic. I'm glad I was able to witness. You know, at the end of the day, we're home team, so I'd rather be on the opposite side of the W than the L. But We'll take it. They're just one of those games where, you know, if you're here, you've, yeah. seen, you've, seen, you've seen a great football game. You've seen a game mm -hmm. that when it was all said and done, it's probably would be an instant classic on ESPN. Yes. A lot like the Gorman, uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, Aquinas game. That St. They had John Bosco, Bishop Gorman, 2014. The Centennials, Corona Centennial yeah. Bishop Gorman game. I mean, there, there are some heavyweights here. And mm -hmm. The who's who of Gorman came out. You mm -hmm. had Tate Martell, Bubba Bolden, Haskell Garrett. Um, Xavier Grimble came mm -hmm. out. Marquise Lee, former USC wide receiver. Matt Leinert, former mm -hmm. Heisman Trophy yeah. quarterback from USC, came out, who went to modern day. It was the who's who at this game. And, you know, we were blessed to be here to yeah. even check it out. And what I take away is there's nobody's going to be Gorman the rest of the way. Nah, 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 nah. They really are one of the top three teams in the country. I, I, and I, and I feel bad for the next people in line. St. Louis, Hamilton. And the Georgia team. Brookwood. That's right. Hey, man, y'all going y'all gonna to see a, a, a fired-up team. Well, hey, Gor well, Gorman wasn't the only team to lose in the city. Uh, Liberty. Liberty lost to, to Lone Peak 20-19. Yeah. to 19. So In another battle. In a huge battle. Yeah. So let's go ahead. We'll have Eliza Lofton join us in a second. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and take a look at scores in our FSM Prep Rally Top 10 from around the valley.
Welcome back to the FSM Prep Rally, where Bishop Gorman lost a heartbreaker to modern day 24-21. And we got our player of the game, Bishop Gorman tied in, Elijah Lofton. Elijah, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All good, my man. So, I mean, you had, you had a big game. You had a huge first quarter. What, when you went into this week, you were super prepared. Thank you. What, 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 did, <laughs> what did you see? What did you see on film that made you think that you could get off a little bit tonight? When they were playing, man, so and I was thinking, I don't think no. I mean, they were playing man press, so I think I'd lose my speed and burn them, get around, use what I could do with my technique that I learned from my coach, trying to make plays. When you, when you caught that touchdown pass, it was, it was with your fingertips, almost like you caught the back of the ball. I told you earlier, I was on the other side, and the whole place, like, on one side of it was so loud, the other side got quiet. When you caught that ball, did you know, like, like no one's going to catch me at this point? Yeah, once I caught it, I was like, yeah, I got to go to the crib. got to uh, score. Elijah, you know, have you heard the comparison, you're the next Brevin Jordan? Have you heard that? Yes. Tonight, you're the next Elijah Lofton. Real talk. Sure. You did your thing tonight, man. Thank you you, you set the tone. You, it's no longer Brevin Jordan wearing number nine. It's Elijah Lofton. Yes, sir. And you know, you know my motto, keep working. This is not the ceiling. We want to go better than this. We're going to use this pain as motivation. Yes, keep working. We've been down before. We ain't going to let this kill us. We got this, right? Yes, sir. Come on. Yeah, there's no reason to hang your head low. I know it's tough, and that's why I asked yeah. you, you know, you good. Um, you know, but and me and Joe, me and Joe been there. TQ been there. We all play yeah. sports. We we had heartbreakers. Big so time. we know we know the feeling right now. I know it's hard for you to do this. I appreciate you doing this, man. I know it's hard right now. So I appreciate you even coming up here, being this, being with us right now. Thank you. But yet, and still at the end of the day, your boys, y'all fought to the end, man. Y'all are warriors. Your whole team, y'all went down fighting. Thank you. So never forget that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had one of your coaches tell me walking off the field a few minutes ago that. We're pretty damn good, and everybody knows we're pretty damn good now. You know, pe people didn't think we should have been in that position. Did you feel the same way going into it? Yeah, I feel like we was under dark, the underdog. People were saying 50-0. They were just saying crazy stuff. But I feel like tonight we showed out. It was mm -hmm. a good show. Even though we lost, I feel like we still played to our best of our abilities. You know, I don't want to look too far ahead, but uh, good luck St. Louis next week. They about to open up cans of whoop ass. They about to feel all this pain. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they about to feel all this pain. Yep. Just remember this next week. Every day in practice when y'all get ready to play, remember this moment. Somebody got to pay for this. Bottle it up. Bottle up and, and just give it up to everybody else, man, you know, when you play them, especially next week, man. So, um, you know, thank you for joining us. You had a huge game. Over 100 yards in the first quarter, touchdown. Mm -hmm. He is the number one tight end in his class, Bishop Gorman, Eliza Lofton. And I'm looking forward to seeing you, not just the rest of this year, but what you're about to do with the rest of your career because you got a huge upside, my guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I always told you it was going to be something special. I seen it in you. I seen you. You're a good person. Uh, you know, I'm always, I'm always here for you, looking out for you. But I see the work you put in, man. And I see you always come back. You're better and better and better. Keep doing that, man. Stay focused. Remember your mom, they sacrificed so much for you, man. So keep focused. Remember what you're doing this for. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now let's check out the highlights from the Bishop Gorman Modern Day game. That's tonight's highlights from Bishop Gorman, where, again, they took the L against Modern Day 24-21 in an epic game. Mm -hmm. But let's move on to next week. Yeah. We got some cool games in the Valley. Yeah, yeah. So, a lot of local wars. Yeah, we do. So one game I'm interested in is mm -hmm. my number three team. Mm -hmm. Not my number three but team. But my number three team, mm -hmm. Silverado. They're hosting another 5A team, uh, Palo Verde, at Silverado. Uh, I, I got to go with the Skyhawks. You know, Skyhawks is different level right now and they should be in a 5a 
I don't, think, I don't think Paolo can keep up with Skyhawks. I don't either. I, and I, at home, right, right across the street. You know how we do over in Serato. What is our neighborhood called? Serato Ranch? You, I don't know. You tell me. You live there. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll give the score in Griffin's, Griffin's preview next week, but okay. I don't think it's going to be close. Um, and I, another game I'm interested in, and I don't know if we're going to hit that, though, is mm-hmm. Sierra Canyon comes up from California to take on Green Valley. Yeah. Pierce Clarkson, Jaleel McClain, a guy that I know very well from down in Southern California. That's a team that's loaded. A, a guy I did a radio show with, actually, George Reister, his son Damian also was a quarterback for Sierra Canyon as well. That's going to be a big game. Also, you know, Sierra Canyon came by, and uh, I don't know how this happened, but they scooped up four DP players. That's right. LeVon Brown, uh, Elijah Payne, BJ Supton, and Rodney leaks man uh they, yeah they came by and grabbed up a bunch of guys you know Lave, Lave, was Lavon brown that was one of our top two or three receivers in the, in the valley yeah last so year. they returned to vegas they might put on the show at green valley man i think they will they might come and put on the show in green valley what, what else what is, what's another game that you like next week uh another game i like next week uh i like this be just because of the name we got shadow ridge playing shadow ridge arizona so I bet you Shadow Ridge wins. Yeah, here you go. So I, I, I don't really know about much about Shadow Ridge, Arizona, but I'm gonna go with my local Shadow Ridge and the Wing T. Is it double wing? Double wing. You know, double one wing. of the last teams in the valley that runs it. Yeah, and then Mr. Gorman heading out to Hawaii. St. Louis. Hey, I mean, you lost tonight, but you get to go to Hawaii. And that's kind of a that's, that's kind of bittersweet. I mean, and they leave on a Wednesday. So that's a cool consolation prize. Are they leaving on a Wednesday? Yeah. All right, okay. That's okay. a cool consolation prize. So, well, that's it for this week. You can check Ann out on the Portaway podcast. Don't forget yeah. to check us out, FSN Prep Rally, every single week after the games. On Friday night, we have our game of the week. We'll be announcing where we're going to go next week. And when are you and TQ coming on the Portaway podcast? Man, if that's the offer, we're, we there when you tell us, man. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to the boss man. Oh, yeah, we, can, we get it into it. Tr- Trish coming on, too? Hey, we'll bring the whole franchise family on it, man. All right, all right. Uh, Let's there make we it go. A for Aunt Big Ann, I'm Joe Rigo. That is it for the FSM Prep yeah. Rally this week. We'll check you out next week with more 702 High School football highlights, news, and information. Appreciate you guys.